I am true technology. I am a true revolution. I am true science. I am a true warrior. I am true perfection. I am true velocity. Good stuff. Good stuff. So I was at Cabela's and I was in the bottom of the barrel uh, ammo prices because I'm poor, so I was just buying the cheapest crap that I could find. And then this caught my eye. So they had their little booth set up at the end of the aisle, and it had like a robot arm, and it was like building stuff, and it was really cool, and they had their nice little white boxes, and it flips up, and then you have all your shit here, and everybody's excited. Ammunition made perfect, oh my god, I love perfect ammo, I need to buy it, I need to buy it, and you're loading your card up, you're loading your card up, and then you look up, look up at the price. $70 for 20 round. Oh god, dude, that's $3.50 a round. Stupid expensive. That is that is very 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 expensive ammo for 308. This stuff is the 308 168 grain Sierra Match Kings. Cool, cool. Uh, it's normal ammo, normal 168 grain ammo. Uh, nothing special, but they have a lot of guarantees. Um, a case for perfection. Ammunition made perfect. And today we're going to be talking about if that's. If that's a true guarantee, or a guaranteed piece of shit. Guaranteed precision, powder drop, consistency held to the hundredth of a grain result in single digit, standard deviation in muzzle velocity, drastically reducing downrange dispersion. That's key to accurate ammo, guys. Uh, you know, your hand loaders and stuff will, will, will tell you that. I hand load a lot of ammo in Key to extremely accurate ammo is your powder consistency. So if you shoot around and it's up here, and then you shoot another one and it's down here, then you shoot another one and it's down here, this one up there was probably a hot load. It was probably, it had a lot more powder in it. Not a lot, but enough to make it, to make it go up. So that's what you want. You want, you want a consistent powder in each, each cartridge. So they guarantee it. They guarantee precision. Um, and that's the only one that they guarantee here. They talk about it a little more, say uh, extreme consistency, but they guaranteed precision. So I saw that and I'm like, listen, man, you guarantee anything. A product guarantees anything. You best believe Midnight Run will be on it. I will sniff it out and I will be on it. We will see your guarantee. So I bought some of this stuff. I had to go out to the range and check it out. Kind of sad story. I'm going to digress a little bit. Um, I come outside of my car one day and uh, I look and my, um, the back of my car is opened. And I'm like, that's not good. Long story short, somebody broke into my car. They took my Kestrel. They took a bunch of ammo. They took my drone. They took, um, what else did they take? My chronograph. Chronograph. Which I really, really needed that for this test. I wanted to test that guaranteed precision. And that's how you're going to test it. You're gonna see, you're gonna see their their hundredth, what they say, a hundredth of a grain. That's what's going to show up. That's that that tests your feet per second stuff. So we go out, I go out and I test it. First things first, we have to see how it groups, right? That's a big one. <laughs> a lot of talk, true velocity. A lot of talk you had. A lot of talk you had with your prices, a lot of talk you have with your fancy little box, a lot of talk you had with your guarantees. You guys talked a lot of game. First shot, down here, trash. Second shot, right here, absolute trash. Third shot, right here, absolute trash. Fourth shot, right here, absolute trash. Something must be wrong because there is no way, there is no way even crap ammo is not grouping that awful. There's no way. So I go back to the drawing board and I test, I check out my rifle and I'm like, something has to be loose. Something's, something's off because there is no way 
ammo is that awful. Especially one that guarantees precision. You can't guarantee precision and then you go out and you see those. <laughs> I'd be like, dude, I want my money back. I, I want my money back. So everything was good on the rifle. Um, and then just to confirm, I went back to brass ammo and I shot it and it was good groupings. It was dead center, solid groupings. Um, I was doing this test with the SIG uh, Spear in the 308 and it was a 16 inch barrel. Not a, not a precision rifle, it's not the most accurate rifle, but it's, it's accurate enough for this test. So after that, I shot some brass ammo and then I got that one right here, that hit, and then that hit, and then it started going over here. That one, I must have pulled the trigger. Um, that was probably me, I whiffed that one. But one, two, and then three, four, five, six, seven. Then you had like a seven, almost seven rounds right on top of each other, which was, which is very impressive, especially out of the spear, because again, it's not a precision rifle. It's, it's I mean, it's, it's all right, but it, it's not the most accurate rifle out there. So, uh, True Velocity def definitely grouped the best with the Spear, um, or the Spear grouped best with True Velocity because I tried a bunch of other rounds with, uh, uh, through the Spear and nothing grouped that well, but, which is cool. That is, that's, that's cool. You got, a, you got some good groups right there, but we're not going to just, we're not going to just forget that, 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 and that. What the hell? You can see it's a. It, you can see how it's kind of a pattern, and it just slowly starts walking its way up, um, which is super weird. I don't know if it doesn't like a cold, uh, cold gun. Uh, I am in New England. It was a little chilly, but it wasn't anything that was you know concerning. It wasn't in the negatives or anything. It was probably I don't know, probably high to mid 30s. Wasn't anything crazy. Um, I'm not really sure why that happened. So, um, I mean, it's gonna have to go, it's gonna have to go into the review, but if somebody can, if somebody can get back to me and they're like, yeah, it doesn't like a cold gun, I don't know, I, I don't know. Um, but that's, that's atrocious. So, yeah, yeah. Guaranteed precision. True Velocity, you lied. You lied. What's that? What's that? Guaranteed precision, huh? What's that? What the hell are these? Do you call that precision, True Velocity? Because I do not. I do not call that precision. I call that crap. I call that crap. Um, I'm not the best shot in the world, but I am telling you right now, I can shoot a lot better than that. So, um, but I mean, $70 for 20 rounds, trash. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, the polymer casing, super cool. It's a cool idea, it's a cool design, and I do think I really, really do think that ammo companies in the future will start going to that polymer, that polymer casing. Um, I don't know why it is ex why it's so expensive. I mean, if you're gonna go on reduced weight, then you're probably part of the big gay loser stupid club, and that's really that, that that's really all I can tell you. Because if you're just it's it's like one third the weight of 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 a brass of a brass round. Um, if that's what you think is worth $70 for 20 rounds, then, 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 then you're part of the big gay loser stupid club and you're a cuck and get out of my face, get off my channel, shut your computer and then go, 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 go jump off a bridge because I mean, 70 bucks for 20 rounds is, is, is ridiculous for weight. The guaranteed precision. I'm sorry. I didn't see it. I did not see the guaranteed precision. It, it was... It wasn't very precise. <laughs> it's, it got that way, but it's like it didn't like the, the cold or something. I don't know. I really don't know what to say. I've never seen ammo do that, dance around like that, and then group. So 
who knows? It's either good, it either groups really, really well, or it doesn't group at all. And this was kind of weird, so. Uh, true Velocity. <sighs> Don't buy it. Don't buy it. I think it's a really, really good idea. Maybe I just need more rounds. Maybe I just need to test it more, but they said all you need is one box. All you need is one box. I don't know. Maybe I'll shoot more. Maybe I'll buy more, but at 70 bucks, 70 bucks for 20 rounds. I'm sorry, dude. I, I, I can't do it. That's, that's ridiculous. But, um, no, I just don't think, I think it's a really, really cool idea. And I think that they will do great things. I think the polymer casing is the way of the future. I think it has a lot of perks. Um, but it also has a lot of drawbacks to it. Like you can't reload it. That sucks that you can't reload $3 and 50, 50 cent round. You can't reload it. So, um, yeah, and that's kind of a drag. And I think it was subpar. I think it was subpar at best. Um, I would put it in, I would put it in the bottom, the bottom category of ammo. I'd rather shoot, um, I'd rather shoot PMC than this stuff. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's cool. Again, it's a cool idea, cool design, and it has potential, but it's just not there. I just don't think that the technology is there yet to mass produce stuff like this. Uh, I think it's just too expensive. Um, and I think they needed, they just need to do a little more research on it and stuff because as, as, as the groupings show, I don't know what, I don't know what happened. I really, really don't know what happened. And um, so, yeah, I mean, I would give True Precision a D. Yeah, I think that's a fair, I think that's fair, a D. Um, it looks cool. It's a cool idea. It's a cool design. But 70 bucks for 20 rounds to get those that, that type of grouping, that, that type of performance. I'm sorry, True Velocity. You get a D. You get a D, but mm, I mean, I'm not sorry. I, mean, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. It was kind of crap, but that's it. True Velocity polymer ammo out of Garland, Texas. Again, super cool idea, but just not there yet. Don't waste your money on this, guys. Um, you can make. You, I would. I would rather spend 70 bucks on brass ammo. You get more training. You get. Um, you can get more rounds and stuff like that. Uh, when it comes to the weight reduction, 99% of people don't care. Um, so True Velocity, if that's, if that's what you're, you're going after, um, I would rethink your, your business model. Maybe if you're looking, your customer base is only in the military because yeah, sure. If the military um, bought all this stuff and they were getting lighter ammo, yeah, your soldier can, your normal soldier can carry more ammo at, at, at less weight, so. Um, yeah, but for the normal people, the normal civilian market, stay away from True Velocity. Uh, not very impressed. Made a lot of guarantees and made a lot of had a lot of talk. Perfect ammo. I call it perfect crap. Yeah, if crap was perfect, I would I would say it's called True Velocity. But maybe I'm being a little a little little tough on them. But I don't know. Just my opinion. So thank you guys for tuning in. Have it posted in a while. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll get back to it again. But been super busy and stuff. I think this will be the hundredth video. So for all my followers out there, thank you guys. Really appreciate it. Hundred videos. Um, who knows? Maybe we can get to fifty thousand subscribers. So hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys back out there later.